in the opening of the consulate in Dubai. We're joined by a guest now who will shed some more light on the substance behind the visit here, Dr. Majid Al-Sara, co-founder of Sharaka, the Gulf Israel Center for Social Entrepreneurship in Dubai. Thank you so much for being with us. It's an undeniably big day for Israel here. Further official confirmation and, and visual uh, confirmation as well, the advancement of these relations. But how's it being discussed or, or covered within the United Arab Emirates? Uh, first of all, thank you so much for having me on your uh, channel. And uh, I would like to send uh, a message for the delegation, as we say here in the UAE, marhaba uh, sa', which means uh, you are more than welcome here in the UAE, uh, the land of tolerance, the land of peace. Um, uh, so allow me to highlight, actually, this visit is really significant uh, since the Abrahamic Accords, uh, which was nine months ago. And um, maybe the main uh, idea was the connection between people. We have seen lots of videos, lots of gestures, lots of uh, cooperation between, uh, you know, people from both sides uh, on terms of business, in terms of even some governmental uh, level. However, you know, uh, having this visit uh, as the first minister who visits UAE on an official delegation and being welcomed here uh, by the official government of the UAE, it sends a high message to the whole world, you know, that the Abrahamic Accords um, uh, is real, it's authentic, the Abrahamic Accords, it's so effective. Um, uh, in the UAE, of course, uh, everybody is so happy to uh, to have the minister because it shows on the international level it shows the serious uh, seriousness of the relationships between two countries um, especially that we have the embassy which started here in Abu Dhabi and the consulate in Dubai and uh, now we will have the official uh, inauguration of these uh, two uh, entities here uh, which means the tying of the relations and building these bridges is so real it will send a great message uh, again to strengthen uh, the region in the Middle East, uh, showing that UAE and Israel uh, are holding hands and uh, cooperating on so many aspects, political, economic, uh, even social. So um, I believe it's a very positive visit, especially in the past that we had uh, a potential visit that was supposed to be in February and March, uh, but it didn't happen. Uh, but this visit actually took place and it has been actually done. Well, um, first and foremost, I, speaking somewhat on behalf of, of Israel here, your, your greeting of openness and, and the warmth and genuine uh, nature of it is certainly appreciated here and something not lost on the entire country here. So thank you for that. And, and certainly we're in agreement on how important this uh, situation is, the nature of the ties.